Okay, so uh, we're up here in the shipping room again today, and uh, this is actually a really, really great one because as you might hear in the background, there's actually noise in the building again. We have uh, our staff back, and we've Chloe back, and uh, people have been saying they've never actually seen the two of us together, so we are not the same person. This is Chloe, this is Alistair. Uh, she's more hair than me, so that's how you know. Just about. Um, so, uh, no, it's fantastic. We've, uh, we've had nearly three months of not having our team um, in, the, in the factory. Uh, I've been trying to hold things together. Chloe's been working from home, um, as has Kev and Broha and, uh, and Andres and Alan and you know all the guys. So uh, it's been so good to kind of get everybody back. And um, Chloe has been, I think, a little bit anxious to get back into work. She's actually climbed Everest in the meantime. While, uh, From my she... stairs, not the real Everest. <laughs> <laughs> so she did a sponsored climb of Everest. How cool is that? So uh, we are also just on the back of having, I think, possibly our busiest week of sales ever. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm alright. Um, yeah, it's been quite busy. It's been crazy. So I think a word has gone out that we're we're back uh, on track again. Uh, production is now kicking off in the next couple of days, back to full swing. It's going to take us a while to get fully caught up, but we're excited about that. And uh, so I thought because there's 21 guitars going out today, uh, I'd get Chloe to give me a hand. So we're, we're going to jump in and uh, I'm going to have Chloe start that end and I'm going to start this end and we'll just tell you about the guitars that we're shipping out today. So the first guitar we've got going is going to Vern in Pennsylvania. He's got a beautiful Coco Bolo Amicus. And uh, I have this one, this is uh, Michael and this is going all the way to Melbourne in Australia. And uh, it's a freak maple pearl, beautiful piece of maple pearl, uh, really unusual. You can see why it's called freak maple because it's got quilting, it's got these um, weird, weird pearls, beautiful uh, details here in the center. So, uh, and that's our level 3x10. This one's going to Jeff and Indiana. He is a repeat customer, he actually has an amicus as well. He is going to get a custom after this. He doesn't know it yet, but he's been talking about it for a while, so we'll see what happens. But it's a beautiful Ambonia Burl. It was one of our select series from last year. So uh, this one is going to uh, the UK, to Ken and Berkshire. And uh, this is an X10 level 3, uh, finished in the amber, amber uh, carbon finish. We've got a lovely X7 Koa next. It is going to Greg in North Carolina. So uh, if you know about our guitars, you'll know that the only thing we offer in Lefty is our X20 model. Uh, although that's soon going to change, uh, more on that later. Um, this is uh, the X20 Lefty in black carbon. This one is going to Bruce. Um, Bruce is Pennsylvania. This is his third emerald. It is really, really nice. Beautiful. Check that one out. Uh, this is a seven string X20 uh, finished in our beautiful quilted maple with a really nice uh, vintage amber burst. Um, I, I always comment on the, the job that Robbie does on the, the vintage amber bursts, really is a, a speciality of his. Uh, fan frets, uh, 27 inch scale on the low B, uh, going to 25 and a half on the high E. So uh, fan frets on the seven string really, really makes sense. Um, should comment actually. The seven string is a great instrument as well to use for uh, for customization. Uh, we're doing one yesterday. We just uh, sold one that's going to be an eight strings. So we we'll modify it and change the scale lengths and stuff, and uh, and take it up to an eight. William in Nevada is going for a lovely amber X7. The amber is over the carbon fiber finish, and you can see the great detail in there as it moves with the light. So uh, this one's. Bill uh, in Washington, uh, it's an X30, Powell Farrell, and this guitar actually was featured in Guitar World magazine, and uh, yeah, you can see why we sent that out to the magazine, really, really special piece of Powell Farrell, amazing detail here, it's like some kind of psychedelic uh, drawing from the 60s or something, it's just hard to believe, it's, it's all natural, and uh, amber back and sides. This is our last X7 that's going today. It is going to Michael in Minnesota. Beautiful Pal Fair open the year. And Michael has actually went for the LR Bags Anthem in there as well. And 
And I've got uh, next 30, another one of our big jumbos, and uh, this one's the quilted maple as well. Uh, another vintage amber, and, uh, and the back sides, uh, Vincent and Virginia. Next up, this is going to David and Washington. It is an X10 level 3, and it's a cocoa bowl of veneer. This is also his third or second or third guitar. He also has an X2012 and Redwood Burn as well. So this is a great addition to the collection. So this is Redwood Burl. Um, Redwood Burl has some really nice uh, Redwood Burl stock at the moment. Uh, really nice tight burl. Um, and uh, lovely colours, lovely detail in there. Uh, with the amber back and sides, really goes well. And that's going out to Sean in Arizona. And I will say, we sell a lot of guitars to Arizona. And, uh, and the reason for that really is, is down to our guitars, resilience and temperature and humidity. I've been to Arizona, it's brutal, especially in the summer. So coming into the summer months, uh, if you're thinking about a carbon guitar, it will make your life a whole lot different if you're living in Arizona. <laughs> I wonder what my hair would be like with the humidity of Arizona. <laughs> Lack of humidity in Arizona. Please. Lack of humidity of Arizona. <laughs> um, so next up we've got an X10 going to Mike in Connecticut. Alistair's already discussed about the vintage amber burst around the quilted maple and it really is just a stunning finish on these guitars. So this is an X30 Royal Ebony and uh, amazing Royal Ebony. I'm trying to get more Royal Ebony stock. We're almost out. Uh, we're down to our last couple of pieces. But uh, Royal Ebony just has this amazing pattern, beautiful contrast in the colour and uh, the, the jet black lines that just go so nicely with the, the black carbon back and sides. And that's going to Nick in Barking in, uh, in England. Next one is going to Christopher in California. It is Figured Mahogany X10. And he's went for the level 2 pickup in there as well. So it has the individual piezo saddles and the humbucker. And Chloe, don't forget gold frets. Gold frets as well. <laughs> Gold frets. Um, also, I just remembered by feeling that there is a custom neck on this, uh, neck width on this, um, so it's really lovely. Um, this is a custom Alistair done himself for Christopher by their request. This is Christopher's second guitar. So yeah, it's got the, the Evo gold fret wire. So the vast majority of our frets are stainless steel, but uh, but sometimes if somebody just purely for the, the visual effect wants uh, wants the Evo gold fret wire, we can do that as well. Um, so this one's going to Matthew in New York, and uh, this is uh, figured mahogany, and uh, really nice figure. You can see all the kind of the bear claw marks uh, going through this mahogany. Really makes it exceptional. And now we're back in sides. I think this is the last one I've got. This is going to Pierre in Quebec. This is an X10 level three in our black carbon. Pierre is a repeat customer as well, so this is another emerald to his collection. He is an X7, so he's just adding an X10. So, last one up is uh, Joe going to Joe in Missouri, and uh, this is an incredible piece of Spalted Beach. Uh, we we did these guitars for a select series back, um, it was last year, uh, and this one originally was a fretless, and uh, Joe fell in love with it but asked us to put frets in, so, uh, so we did that. Had a little bit of work to do on the neck to get it right for him, um, but uh, we were able to, to get that made into a fretted five string, but really exceptional, just the details, and that's quite amazing. Um, we were just talking beforehand uh, of what our, our guitar of the day is, and I think possibly this might be my favorite. Uh, Chloe might tell you what, what hers is. So this one's going out to Joe, Missouri, uh, beautiful small to beach baller. That's the last one I have. Right, Chloe, what's your favourite? My favourite is definitely the Ambonia Burl Synergy X7. I just love that. It kind of looks like my hair a little bit, I think. <laughs> but it's lovely. So that's it for this week. Uh, 21 guitars. Um, amazing week of sales. And a lot of these are custom guitar, or cost, uh, stock guitars that were, were being shipped out. Some of them are custom orders that we finally just got completed. And uh, we've also had a bunch of custom orders in the past week. So, uh, so Chloe's going to be pretty busy, so we're going to let her get back to the office. I'm getting back now to custom work. Uh, if you've been following my Wise and Born project, um, I'm hopefully going to get back to some of that tomorrow. Uh, it's been a struggle to try and find enough time to get into that as we're, we're getting back up to production. So, um, 
For everybody that's that's been waiting on customer orders uh, over the last while, we're we're getting back up to full uh, full speed again. We've lost really three full months of production there on that. Um, we we're gonna hold us orders first. Uh, we'll be cranking through them pretty fast. So we, we're hoping within six weeks we'll start to get back fully on track for uh, for older customer orders. And uh, we're going to endeavour to try and actually bring our order list down, so uh, our lead time might even be shorter ongoing. So uh, I think this is a really exciting time ahead. Uh, for everybody that's out there, uh, I know a lot of people are still struggling um, with, uh, with this coronavirus. People are still off work. Just, you know, keep playing music. That's all we have at the moment. And uh, we've been loving all the videos you guys have been sending in. So thanks for watching, and uh, we will see you again. Yep. Next week. See you guys later.